in this lecture we are going to see the next topic role of lexical analyzer in the previous video we saw about the introduction about lexical analysis so now we are going to see uh, the more concept about lexical analyzer the same thing here the main task of lexical analysis is to read the source program or scan the source program from left to right character by character to produce the token as output the token is uh, the token was given as input to the second phase syntax analysis phase and the lexical analysis identifies the tokens one by one so this is the role of lexical analysis diagram so the first phase is lexical analyzer second phase is parser parser is also known as syntax analyzer that is second phase so lexical analyzer take the source program as input and produce token as output to the parser so after receiving the token from parser the parser send some request to lexical analyzer in the form of get next token the request is get next token that was sent from parser to lexical analyzer so after receiving the request from parser the lexical analyzer identify the next token by read the source program from left to right and uh, after receiving the token from parser it simultaneously work uh, to the next uh, uh, the next phase that is intermediate uh, semantic analyzer throughout this process the symbol table have to be interacted with both lexical analyzer and parser so symbol table is nothing but is a data structure containing a record for each identifier in the source program so the information uh, of identifier is nothing but um, identifier name identifier type identifier address for example uh, consider the statement a is equal to 5 semicolon here a is an identifier so this uh, value of a is equal to 5 is stored in some uh, memory address consider 1000 so in uh, memory address 1000 the value of a 5 is stored so the symbol table have to maintain for uh, maintain the information uh, for this identifier a so the, the three informations have to be stored the first information is uh, name uh, the name is id1 because a a is an identifier if uh, if that is the first identifier to be identified by the uh, lexical analyzer then we have to give the name as id1 uh, it goes on id2 id3 uh, second information is id type so here a is equal to 5 Um, um we may uh, declare a, a as an integer or float as anything in the previous step so we have to mention the type of that particular identifier that is integer so third information is address so already i said the uh, information the value stored in the address 1000 so the symbol table having the information of uh, the uh, uh, identifier name identifier type and identifier address so this is the information about symbol table so get next token is a command or request that was sent from parser to lexical analyzer so some roles or uh, or task are performed by lexical analyzer the first one is it is used to identify the token and it also removes the white space that is blank space and the commands from the source program uh, commands are indicated by double uh, double backspace double uh, backspace and uh, it also used to correlate the error message that is nothing but it is used to display or provides the error message corresponding source program it is used to expand the macro if it is uh, found in the source program and also it reads the source program uh, by character by character these are the task to be performed by lexical analysis consider this example program in this program the first line is hash include header file second point is second line is function function name there are two values x and y so after that uh, we have to compare the value if x is greater than y uh, if the condition is true the value of x is returned otherwise the value of y is returned this is a simple program so for this program we have to identified the tokens and we have to identify the non tokens so uh, first of all have to write the lexem values the first one is int second one is maximum open bracket int x comma int y close bracket open bracket if it goes on because already there is uh, x symbol is present and we have to put greater than symbol y 
so it goes on uh, so the lexeme is the original characters in the source program so for this lexeme the lexical analysis uh, ana analyzer identify the tokens so already we know that int is a keyword because integer float character main function these are the keywords either the keywords other uh, words are identified so maximum maximum is an identifier and open bracket that is op operator int is a keyword x is an identifier comma is a operator int is a keyword y is a identifier close bracket is a operator open bracket is a operator if is a keyword it goes on so this is the token so you can um, you can get the clear knowledge about token it is a sequence of characters with some collective meaning actually int integer so we can uh, get the information of int 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 is a keyword so it is a meaning or information for that particular lexeme so this is the role of lexical analysis so and also from the same example we can easily identify the non tokens so the non tokens are command command is uh, represented by the double backspace that is this will compare two numbers so command is the non token and pre processor directory that is hash include stdio.h so this uh, include header files or not tokens and next one is hash define num 8 comma 9 so in the previous lectures uh, i told about uh, macro macro processing macro pre processing so here num is a macro because num having uh, more than one value 8 comma 9 because num we can uh, as we can assume the value for num is either 8 or either 9 in uh, program uh, we can uh, we may have the value of uh, s or num in somewhere so for that we can uh, assign either value of 8 and 9 so for more than one value we can use using the concept of macro so and last one is white space it, it is a blank space it is represented by slash in slash blank slash t tab so these fives are known non tokens to be identified in the given source program so now we know uh, now we know that what is lexical analysis what is the role of lexical analysis and uh, we saw one example to identify the tokens and non tokens now uh, we can see what is lexical errors uh, so if uh, the lexical analysis uh, cannot find the valid token then it generates the lexical error the error is produced by lexical analysis is known as lexical errors these errors are very common but it should be managed by the lexical analyzer because it goes on to the next phase so uh, when uh, so in what case uh, the lexical analysis found out find the error it should uh, recover from that error so the errors may be misspelling of identifiers operators keywords these are considered as lexical errors so we have uh, we are going with error recovery techniques in lexical analysis the first point is we can remove one character from the remaining input and the panic mode means the successive characters or uh, may be ignored until we can find the well formed token next uh, error recovery technique is we can inserting the missing character in the original input and replace the character with the another character and also transpose to adjacent character these are the error recovery techniques to recover from the errors to be identified by lexical analyzer we can compare lexical analyzer versus syntax analyzer that is parser so lexical analyze analyzer is used to scan the input source program parser performs syntax analysis that is produce syntax tree or parse tree and lexical analyzer used to identify token parser is used to create the abstract representation of the code that is the graphical representation of the source code and in lexical analyzer it is insert the tokens into symbol table which means it uh, um, give the information about the identifiers into the symbol table and parser update the information of symbol table entries and uh, lexical analyzer generates lexical errors parser generates parse tree for the source code so why we have to separate lexical analysis from syntax analyzer because the simplicity of design and the compiler efficiency have to be improved specialization techniques have to be applied to improve the lexical analysis process portability higher portability which means uh, the input device uh, can communicate with the outside worlds also
so there is advantages of lexical analysis it is very simple the programmers uh, can create the compiled minor executable code and it is used by the web browser real time application that is it is used by web browsers and display the web page with the help of html javascript and CS, css css cascading uh, style sheets and uh, there are some disadvantages in lexical analysis uh, the first one is it is a little bit difficult comparatively ebnf rules and uh, the more effort is required or needed to develop and uh, debug the lexer techniques and your running time is also very high and you you have to spend some more time uh, some more time to reading the source program from left to right which means we have to put more effort to identify the tokens so this is all about summary of lexical analysis the first point of uh, summary about lexical analysis it is the first phase of the compiler and second step it is used to identify the token so what is lexeme is a sequence of characters in the source program so what is token it is a sequence of characters with some collective meaning what is pattern it is a rule describing uh, describing the token for a lexeme and uh, lexical analysis uh, help to uh, enter the information about identifiers in the symbol table and also it read one character at a time and it produce lexical errors and after detecting the lexical errors it have some uh, error recovery techniques to recover from that uh, lexical errors the main drawback of lexical analysis is it needs additional run time is required because it, uh, it it read the source program letter by letter so it need more time to produce token for the entire source program